You have just entered another episode here at The Glow Experience. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that ring bell button so that you can be notified every time we post a video here at The Glow Experience. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Angel Chanel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a nail vlog. I will be doing my own nails today. I'm giving myself a manicure starting off to go ahead and clear back those cuticles so we can have a fresh, clean finish when these babies are done. For those of you that are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that ring bell button so that you're notified every time I post a video here at The Glow Experience. Go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Alright guys, right here, as you can see, I am pushing my cuticles back with the cuticle pusher. I did go ahead and soak my nails for a little bit in that hot water there with the, um, cuticle cleanser that I put on before. So now I'm just pushing the, that dead skin back. Soaking it a little longer and then I'll go through and brush it, brush away as much of the skin as I possibly can. And I'll go back over with the, my um, cuticle nipper to clip away any excess dead skin that I wasn't able to get with the brush. And then I'll repeat the same thing on my left hand. Alrighty, right now I'm getting ready to go ahead and dump out the water since I finished um, fouling and doing my manicure on my nails. Now I'm just filling my little tube up with my acrylic liquid. I did get this acrylic liquid from my local Sam's Beauty Supply Warehouse. They do sell acrylic and nail needs, nail things at your local beauty supply store. You just have to look around or you can get any acrylic from um, Sally's as well. 
right now I'm about to go ahead and measure out my um, tips the tips that I will be using for my nails um, I got these I ordered these nail tips here from Amazon but they do sell this exact brand at your local beauty supply store as well once again you can try Sally's Sally does have a lot of um, products and things you need as far as doing acrylic nails I'm not sure about gel nails but acrylic they do have a lot of um, a lot of products so we're just gonna go ahead glue down those nail tips first i'm going to go ahead and um foul the bed uh the nail bed of all of my fingers i'm not going to foul it too hard just a little light to get any um excess oils off of my nails because i want these tips to glue and stick as tightly as they possibly can like i don't want these nails to go anywhere i don't need them to break or anything so once i finish fouling down the bells of my nail the beds of my nails excuse me I'll then go ahead and glue the tips on each of them. Once I glue the tips on each of them, I'll go over them with some primer on the remaining part of the bit of my nail. The primer will just help cleanse it even more so that the acrylic will be able to stick to my nail bed and to the nail even better. So let's just go ahead and continue watching. All right, you all, the acrylic that I will be using, I did get in my kit from when I was in cosmetology school. It is the rose pink acrylic um, that is made by CCND or CDC. Um, this primer that I'm using, that's that little tube there. The primer I just got from your basic beauty supply store. Um, this acrylic here that I'm showing you, that's it there, the rose petal by CND or CDC. I can't remember the abbreviation, so excuse my terminology. But you can find that acrylic at your local Sam's Beauty warehouse. Your, I mean, Sam, not Sam's Beauty. Well, yeah, they do have it at Sam's Beauty. Okay, yeah, so you can get that at Sam's Beauty. You can also get it at Sally's, your Cosmo Pro. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find acrylic and stuff now, y'all. So go on out to your local beauty supply store and just see what they have. But go ahead, keep watching.
all right so anyone that knows me knows that i love my nails long and in coffin shape so that's what i'm doing here i'm just clipping off a little bit of the tips and i'm going through with my filer and getting ready to file all of these babies to the coffin shape of my liking honestly at the end when i looked at all my nails i could have gotten them a little bit more coffin shape but that's okay practice makes perfect i love doing my nails i love being artistic with it and coffin shape and um what is it the pointer finger those two are my favorite go-to styles i want to try getting in, getting into the shorter style nails for the simple fact that i do hair a lot but i just i don't know i can't get used to it i don't know i might try the two short fingers and the rest long for the simple fact of braiding but other than that i don't know i don't know i love my long nails <laughs> Alrighty, you all, now it is time to dip, dip, dip with that acrylic. Whenever you get to laying your acrylic, you all, it's the less, the better. Basically meaning start with a little and then gradually build it on. But you have to make sure that you move quickly because this acrylic does dry fast. So I would suggest you just put on a little bit, enough to lay out your bed and then move down to the tip. But also you want to make sure that it's thick enough so whereas your nail won't be flimsy and break if that's understandable
Now that I have applied the acrylic to each and every one of my nails and it has set and dried for some time, I'm going through with my drill and I'm going ahead and fouling down those nails, making sure that they are nice and smooth and level on each nail. No lumps, no dips, no trips, skips, hops, none of that in the nails. We need a nice smooth finish on each of these nails. So I'm just going through with the actual sander, sanding it down. Then I'll go through, take that head off, put another um, head on the buffering head. I'll go through and buffer it and then I'll go through again with all of my actual files and everything and put the finishing touches on with the files before I actually polish it and apply the diamonds, the rhinestones. By the way, I also ordered my drill from um, Amazon. My nail drill came with the drill, the power cord. It came with tons of sand and paper um, drill heads, the buffering drill head. Uh, what else did it come with? It came with a nail clip kit. It came pretty full. It was really worth it. I paid, I believe, about $20, $25 for it. If I could find the link, I will post it in the description box below. I have had this drill for about a year or two. So I'll try to go back and see if I can find the link for you guys. You all, I really took my time in buffering and smoothing each and every last one of my fingernails. I knew that I wanted my nails to be transparent. I didn't want any blemishes or anything within the acrylic. So I literally spent like maybe two to three or four minutes on each finger. Buffering it, smoothing it, going from step one to step six with the... um the nail file that you just saw me put down there and then i did go back over it with the flathead buffering gel drill over my cuticles just to smooth that out and give it a flawless finish and i went over the nails as well to give it an even smoother finish Alrighty, you all right here is where I had started to put the um, rhinestones on my nails I did a little snippet for my TikTok video and snapchat so right here I'm just going ahead and putting all of the um, 
rhinestones onto each and every last one of my fingernails if you guys would love an even more in-depth detailed video explaining how i do all of this please just drop a comment in the comment section and i will bring a video like that to you all to see but go ahead just finish watching this video we're almost done Alrighty, you guys, so right here, I'm just putting the final touches on and spraying it down with my nail dryer spray. I did get this spray, I believe, from Five Below. They do sell it at Five Below, I know for a fact, and it is the Onyx brand. This is the final look of my nails without a filter. Yes, they were so beautiful, came out so, 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 so beautiful, y'all. Like, I was so proud of myself. This is the best set I've ever done. If you guys like this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and go ahead and share this video to a friend. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.